For two years now on this YouTube channel, we have been warning you about the proxy war, the cold war that has been taking place between Russia and the United States. And just moments ago, we have Russian Prime Minister Medvedev coming out and saying that he's wondering whether he's in 2016 or 1962 because we are at a new cold war between Russia and the West. There's a lot of extremely important developments happening right now inside of Syria, inside of Munich, that we will cover in this video that are crescendoing to a destruction of diplomatic relations that could create a new world war. And we're not just saying this on our own, it's also foreign and defense ministers of Russia who are saying we're close to a new world war because of the latest developments inside of Syria. We have seen this because NATO has been preparing with the United States. They have encircled Russia and Russia just two days ago made a statement saying that they are concerned about the military movements of the United States and NATO as they are encircling this country. Russia has answered back and they're also strategically placing their troops and their military forces all along the border where NATO has its major forces, where it has its major bases against Russia. Now, why is this happening right now? Because as we're speaking right now, the Syrian army with Russia, with the Iranians, are very close to getting rid of the ISIS stronghold of Raqqa. If Raqqa falls, the war in Syria will be close to over. Now with this happening, we have Saudi Arabia and Turkey also making grave moves because they do not want to see Syria and Russia win within the region. They want to have a Sunni majority and they want Bashar al-Assad out of power and they are saying he will be removed by force if the peace talks fails. Now Saudi Arabia is saying this publicly but what they're doing is pretty much preparing for a full all-out war by sending fighter jets to Turkey and preparing their troops in the region to be deployed for a full all-out scale invasion. Saudi Arabia on the world stage is saying that this is to fight ISIS, but as we're seeing, their major goal is to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. And that's why Saudi Arabia and Turkey are pushing for the Syrian opposition to leave the peace talks in Munich right now, because if they leave, they'll have their justification to come in with their ground troops and invade Syria to get rid of Bashar al-Assad, not to get rid of ISIS, which they have been financing and supporting because they are mostly Sunni rebels. In the region, we're also seeing Iraq take a major stand against Saudi Arabia with Iraqi security officials saying that the Saudi troops will be in a graveyard if they dare cross the Iraqi border in order to have their ground invasion of Syria within this region right here. The Iraqis are even coming out against Saudi Arabia, against Turkey in this important region. Many people are saying that this invasion has already happened, but this has not been confirmed. I'm also looking at all the news reports as I'm making this video because this news is just breaking right now. But we know Turkey has shot down a Russian fighter jet over the Syrian-Turkish border. We know Turkey is also bombing the Kurds inside of Syria, which are aligned with the Syrian government and the Russians. It's already a hot war. They're just threatening it to be a bigger war inside of that complete region. Now during these peace talks, Putin is saying that he will not stop bombing the rebels. He will not cease in any way, shape, or form because he knows he is close to victory inside of Syria. And that's why Barack Obama and the U.S. government, which has previously stated that they will not negotiate, that they will not talk with Russia with Syria, are finally coming to the table with Russia. And Putin is making sure He's making all the moves in order for a complete victory, even though Obama, just two hours ago, has urged him to stop this bombing campaign. That's why Putin said, hell no. Why is this happening right now? And, and again, it, it, the, the situation is very complex because right now we have U.S. allies fighting CIA-backed rebels in the region. Iraqi militants who once fought ISIS with the U.S., are now helping and working with the Russian and Iranian forces to crush American-backed rebels in the city of Aleppo, which is also another ISIS stronghold. We have this whole paradox here of Obama saying stop bombing these so-called moderate rebels, but in reality, these rebels that the United States, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey have been financing are not moderate at all, and a lot of the weapons and funds and information that they have been given have turned out to be in the hands of al-Nasra, in the hands of ISIS, in the hands of al-Qaeda inside of that region which are mainly Sunni rebels. Why are the Americans coming to the peace talks now? Well, we're just finding out that the Russians have destroyed the CIA arms smuggling operation inside of Syria because for the last three years, the CIA has been smuggling arms into Syria via Turkey and Jordan. Right now, Russia has stopped that corridor. They have stopped 
that major route of weapons into Syria to finance the mercenaries, to finance the mainly Sunni rebels in that region. And now the United States, with its arms, with its weapons, cut off. They are finally coming to the peace talks. Putin is not backing down in any way, shape, or form. And we're at a crescendo moment of a full, all-out Cold War between the two countries. So let me just break this down again. Russia is about to win inside of Syria. Saudi Arabia and Turkey are calling for a full all-out war. Russia is saying, bring it on. The United States just can't finance the rebels anymore. They are losing. Syria is about to fall to the Russians, to the Iranians, to the Syrians. And that's why all hell may break loose at any moment in time. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. All the sources of what we're talking about will be the, in the description below so you can fact check everything that we are saying but we are at a very dangerous time so share this video with all your friends so we get a full picture of exactly what's happening in the world because we're not getting this picture anywhere else especially on the mainstream media thank you again so much for watching and supporting real and independent media just one dollar a month keeps this operation for you and by you subscribe we're gonna have a lot more information coming near your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change